Hi there. You might remember a video I put out previously called Changing Your Default PDF Viewer in Google Chrome. Well, I was recently made aware that the method described in that video no longer works, so I wanted to put out this update video that shows you how you can still change how PDFs open in Google Chrome. So first I'll show you what happens by default. So I have this, I googled sample PDF and there's some PDF file. I click on it and it opens right in the tab in Google Chrome using the built-in Google Chrome PDF viewer. If you're okay with this method, then you probably don't have to change anything. But if you were previously a viewer of this video and you went into the plugins area to change things, here's how you would go now in order to make your default viewer Adobe Acrobat or whatever other piece of software you've selected to open PDFs on your computer instead of Google Chrome. So the process is still pretty simple. I'm going to open the settings menu here and then I will go to settings. Now once this tab loads, instead of trying to find out exactly where it is, in the search settings bar I will type in PDF. And so automatically Chrome will suggest that what I'm looking for is in this privacy area under content settings. So I'll click on content settings and then I actually will need to scroll all the way to the bottom and now there's a new area called PDF documents. So by default, this box is unchecked, which means that PDF files will open in Google Chrome. If I check the box, now PDF files will open in whatever default PDF viewer I have set up for my computer. So if that's Adobe Reader, or if you have a Windows 10 machine, it might be Microsoft Edge. So in either, either way, regardless of what the viewer is, checking the box and clicking Done, I can now go ahead and go back to my sample PDF tab and clicking this first link will now actually download the file to my computer because it's no longer opening in Chrome and I can click on it from the download bar here and Adobe Acrobat will launch and there's the PDF. So if you were a viewer of the first video and you're upset that the method no longer worked, I hope this update helps you. If you have any questions or run into any other issues or something in any of the other videos doesn't work right, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to address it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. And don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I put out a new video or something else from my channel too to help you learn to use your computer better. Thank you.